Romans 8, 5 says, for those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the spirit set their minds on the things of the spirit. Where do you set your mind on? Where do you go for your provision, for your needs, those needs? We all have needs that, that, that our heart longs for. Don't you think the one that created the heart has everything you need to fill it? But we go place after place after place and we just struggle over and over and over and over again. One of the things that helped me and, and maybe it'll help you is take us, just take a step back and imagine your life as a big body of water. And if you look at, your, at, at the body of water, that's your life. Do you have rough waters or do you have peaceful, calm waters? What do you have? I ask myself that question every day. Every morning when I have my time with the Lord, Lord, how are the waters of my soul today? And if they're not calm and if I don't feel peace, then I have to ask for wisdom as to why and where there is the lack of peace. And then I have to be humble enough to admit that it's on me, that I must be seeking something from someone or some other thing that isn't from God. And I have to repent and then I ask the Spirit to, to do that work in me so because I don't want to stay there. I didn't realize how unpeaceful my life was trying to make sure everybody liked me until God worked that through. You don't realize the weight sometimes that you carry until it's not on your back anymore. So what is it that needs to die in your life so you can live? Where are the waves of your soul 